I've had a lot of crappy jobs before this. I tried getting other jobs that I like, never went well. Here's a bit of job interview advice for you guys. If you're ever in a job interview and they ask you what animal you'd like to have sex with, <laughs> that is a trick question. Okay? Also, if you're ever in a job interview and they ask you what animal you'd like to have sex with, you most likely misheard them. <laughs> and what they actually asked is, what is your favorite animal? <laughs> so don't just blurt out, I want to fuck a possum because they have two vaginas, hang upside down and play dead. Because as creative and clearly thought out as that is, <laughs> you will not get that job at the zoo. <laughs> the longest job I had before comedy, this is true, was in, uh, I'm from Wisconsin originally, and it was in Arcadia, Wisconsin. I worked at a furniture factory for four years, and I worked there with a bunch of Mexicans and a bunch of racists, so that was a neat dynamic. <laughs> I don't know if you picked up on this at all, but if you're white, racist people, they just tend to assume that you're going to be on board with whatever horrible shit that they have to say. It's super uncomfortable. So I'd be in the break room just kind of hanging out, minding my own business. Some jackass would come barging in. It's goddamn Mexicans are taking all our jobs! Then in the next breath, you'd be like, and why don't they learn to speak the language? Um, why? Do you want them taking more of our jobs, you fucking idiot? <laughs> You're a miserable, lazy bigot who nobody likes. English is the only thing you have going for you. <laughs> Believe me. They're taking all our jobs. Well, that's quite convenient for me. Jobs are my least favorite thing about life. <laughs> I hate jobs. So I'm doing this silly crap. No, you don't understand, Shane. These Mexicans, they sneak in here, they bring all these drugs into our country. Uh, hold on a minute. <laughs> so what you're telling me is that the Mexicans, <laughs> they're gonna come here. They're gonna bring me drugs and do my job? Oh dear, uh, I think we're gonna need a lot more Mexicans. I started working when I was 10 years old for my father. He has his own business making countertops in Wisconsin. I did that for a few years. Then I became a teenager. Got real angry and angsty for no reason, like teenagers sometimes do. And one day I was just like, oh yeah, dad, you think you can pay me a good wage and pass a business down to me? Well, f you, dad. I'm gonna go push carts at a grocery store for minimum wage. So I did that for a few years. Then my first full-time job as an adult was working at a crouton factory. <laughs> I have no joke for that whatsoever. <laughs> my girlfriend's just like, oh my God, you worked at a crouton factory? That's hilarious, <laughs> just say that. <laughs> so I do. I think the weirdest job in the world, I actually just found out about this a few months ago, thanks to the internet. It's called the Japanese Subway Packer. A couple of you have heard of it. I had no idea what that was either until I saw some videos on YouTube. See, in Japan, sometimes the subways, they get so full of people that they cannot get the subway doors closed. So there are people whose actual job is to cram people into the subway 
please Google Subway Packers when you get home. It is the funniest, most horrifying thing you will ever see. You're watching it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's full. <laughs> yeah, nah. There's no way they're going to get those 15 people all crowded around in there. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> With their cute little uniforms, the little white gloves. Best part about it, these people getting crammed in, that's their choice. They could get out. <laughs> they could wait for the next train. No. <laughs> Pack me. Oh my God, how amazing is that job? I'm not a violent person. I don't want to hurt anybody. It's just that once in a while, I feel like squishing humanity into a tube and sending it away for a while. Just a little break, that's all I want. But this is awesome. Being a stand-up comedian, this is a fantastic job. If you can't squish Asians, this is a close second. <laughs> <laughs>